Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Drintalian, and welcome back to Christmas Stories, A Little Prince. This is Act 7. When we last left off, we've officially teamed up with Amber. Also, at the time I record this, it is now Christmas Eve. By the time this goes up, it'll be December 30th, I believe. Funny thing, because I always keep a week's worth of episodes ahead of time, done and recorded ahead of time, I, it's not uncommon for me to forget when exactly a holiday is falling on, or more accurately, when I'm recording an episode that is falling on a holiday, because it's a week. A whole week before the holiday happens that I'm recording the episode for said holiday. Makes it very easy to forget to say things like Merry Christmas. Well, in this now, this is belated Merry Christmas. <laughs> what a cake looks so delicious, but no taste it until I find the ingredients for lifting the curse. The baker's upset because the cake isn't finished. If I find the decorations he needs, I bet I'll be generously rewarded. Oh, that looks like a confectioner's cat. What an interesting handicraft. A couple of table items are missing, and I need to find something suitable for the slot in the center. Oh, so some forks and spoons. Well, a fork and a spoon. I think. Oh! This china set lacks a couple items, so a plate and maybe no teapot? Maybe. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. Now who was it that needed the garland again? I don't think that's Amber. Amber's down here. No. Ah, I found it. And now I need decorations. I need three more of these. Oh, here we are. Don't know what we need a Christmas stocking for. But I know where these go. Oh, we're done! Okay, so everyone needs to be yellow. There. Yep. 
that line is now all done. Very nice. Boom. Ah, the snowman. But first, let's give you your spoon. Need a fork. And I forgot where the snowman was again. Very nice. Ah, climber gloves. Oh, I need to find pears, huh? Apparently a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Okay, the moon. There. Very convenient, that. Oh! Hello! Hello, friend. I wanted to repay you for saving me. Take this, and please, don't be angry with me for what I did. The newly reformed snowman is quite helpful. Honestly, he hadn't really done anything wrong. He guarded Rose. Which is a good thing. He actually caused a problem by chasing him away from his post. And then, at Amber's house, he got himself melted. He didn't really do anything wrong. Even when we take him take into the idea that Amber wasn't a good person. Don't know the code. Music boxes often have romantic figures on the lid, but this one's gone missing. Now I need a crank. But I got some berries for the cake. I need a tool to unscrew this. So either a coin or a screwdriver. Well, let's go back to the kitchen. There we go. Make sure you put some glaze on those fruits so they don't spoil too fast. Right. The crank is up here. Oh. Here. Yes! Finally got the last one. Ah, confectioner cat. Still missing a fork, though. So let's go back to this little tiny tree and give you your ornaments. That walk in the woods was life-changing for us. First, Rose and I became frightened. Then a horseman emerged from the woods. It was the prince himself. I got a strange feeling in my heart the second I saw him. I knew it was love. But the feeling wasn't returned. The prince was gazing at Rose. Prince Edward and Rose looked so happy. They couldn't help but smile. 
But my heart was burning. I was angry with the entire world. The final straw came when I was made maid of honor for their wedding. As we were getting ready, decorating the castle with flowers and bows, I couldn't ignore the ugliness filling my soul. I took a portrait of the couple and personal items from each of them, Edward's cufflinks and Rose's hairpin. Magical talent ran in our family. I knew how to cast a hex, and so I did. Immediately after, I regretted what I had done. The spell book and all the things I had gathered were lying in front of me, screaming my guilt. Envy and anger blurred my vision. I wished a hundred times I could undo the spell, but I simply don't know how. Well, that explains everything. Right, that's upstairs. Well, now we know who the guilty party is, and we don't have to worry about them thwarting us. In fact, Josephine's made it clear she wants to stop this from getting any worse. Okay, I'm missing cufflinks, a photo, which is damaged, and cards. Ink developer, huh? Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, you're just a touch too long. Which no. Oh, there we go. I can de determine the code if I dust the buttons to see which were used most. True that. And I now have a fork so I can go back to the kitchen. Ah, flower. Time to dust for prints. Wrong direction. Oh, nearly missed that puzzle piece. Oh wait, that's what I have. And now I have to tape this. Look, there's something hidden in this portrait. I need a developer to make the ink visible. Okay, just missing two items now. A hint, which I can't read yet. Just checking to make sure I didn't miss any collectibles. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Oh, the hint. Yeah. This is definitely a hint for me. The sock with the snowflake is not the last. The sock with the snowman is not in the middle. The sock with the gift is not at the beginning. And those are the two missing items. 
Oh, it's because of the written page. Wonder what we need the screwdriver for. Well, well, look who it is. The troublemaker, Miss Josephine, in person. I'm so sorry for what I did. There is no room for hatred and envy in my heart anymore. You're lucky my helper and I learned how to lift the curse. Soon we'll put everything back to normal. So I suppose I can forgive you for the sake of the happy couple. I believe that Josephine is truly sorry and we can... Uh, I didn't manage to read all of that. Once I open the book, we can start the ritual. Ah, there we go. Can arrange all the objects from the book to their places. didn't need to do that. Belatedly. This is a cursed portrait. I must lift the curse from it. I need to recreate the symbols to spell the black fog. On the portrait, okay. Okay, that's right. Unfortunately, continuing onwards with the curse breaking is going to have to wait till next time because this is Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want me to know if I want to upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye bye.